Stamp treatment is a technique that's been used in uh, forestry practice for a number of years. Here we want to demonstrate how it's been used to control Rhododendron ponticum as an invasive species. The situation we're in at the moment is uh, we're located by a river and we're also in an area of very dense Rhododendron and gorse bush. We're going to show you uh, demonstrate the, the technique of stem treatment here on a bush that's um, close to the riverbank and we'll also uh, carry on and treat a number of bushes in this very sort of dense undergrowth here. With a stem like this we just have one single stem and it should only require one drill into the stem. It's generally recommended that you get two millilitres of a chemical um, into the, the stem which is of a 25% glyphosate mix. We're going to carry on and treat another a few more stems here in the undergrowth, a little bit more dense and a little bit more difficult to get at. Where you have um, a more difficult uh, individual bush like this, there's lots more twigs and lots more stems coming away from, from the bush itself. It's probably just worth using your loppers to try and get easy access into the bush. Now with a little bit of lopping, we've got rid of the, the branches that are obstructing our pathway and we can now get into the, the main stem of this rhododendron growing here. In this particular bush we have a number of stems coming up from the main stem but as long as you get the bottom stem as branches branch upwards the chemical will still move upwards through the plant. There's a little bit of spillage of the chemical there, but it's very minimal and it's not causing any damage to the vegetation around here. At the back of this, Bush, we have another stem and this will need to be injected as well and where you have multiple stems you will need to treat them all That 25% solution will be enough to kill this bush depending on the time of year but it should be completely dead within about three months. The advantage of stem treatment is also that you can use this at any time of year and also in most weather conditions. The traditional methods of cutting and foliage application 
are limited because you then need to carry out your foliage application in weather that's dry and rain free within six hours. Stem treatment can be done in most weather conditions. In this particular scenario we're close to a river course where um, potentially you could cause um, pollution of the river through chemical and where there's going to be regulations through the use of chemicals. So here the advantage of stem treatment is that it's direct, it only hits the individual bushes that you require and will cause no damage to any other of the natural vegetation and the chemical uh, is not likely to get into the watercourse. Okay.